Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Nest.js. Today we are going to learn about the login process. In the previous two videos, we have already talked about how to connect to the Postgres, how to register a user. Now we are going to learn about how to login with that user. Okay, so that user we have to use the token process. Okay, so that is JWT. So let's see the integration of the JWT and all. So let's get started. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share, and comment on my video. So let's see how to do the login with the JWT. So here we have the auth section. So this is in the users. We have just only log register part. Then we have a auth module. Okay. And then we are just talked about the JWT part also. Okay. So here we have a auth. You have to create the DTO. So user ID and the user password we required okay next we have auth controller where we have a login process okay so check this auth service public auth guard okay and then we are just using the sign in dto user id and the user password then we have a auth guard so where we have the jwt process okay so here you can see that auth guard where we are we are implementing the jwt process so here we are we can see that in this if, if the token is not valid then unauthorized otherwise we are using the verify the token okay or whatever they have sent and then return the user right extract token from the header if it is bearer or the token then we are using this one the is public is public and set the metadata to be public right authmodule.ts <coughs> so here we have authorization process okay so js module jwt module that is we are using jwt users module auth controller auth guard auth service okay so here we are importing because this is a module so jwt module we have register async imports that is config module right use factory config services secret is this one inject config global true jwt module like sign in options to be expired in 60 seconds okay and the config module providers provide app card and uh, auth service here and then controllers is auth controller export is auth service so this is the auth module okay so this requires whenever you have this like a uh, uh, jw2 integration you can go and just check with the documentation how to, the, the next next is following right this is the way okay so this is how we are just configuring the jwt in the module and then we have auth service where we have all the functions that we are using like while signing process and all okay so this is the full, whole process i think auth guard you have to look it into that one so here you can see that auth guard where we are using this auth guard in the auth module auth module okay so here we have the auth guard okay so here we are using this one here you can see that providers use class auth card that is auth service okay so this is another provider okay and then we have a controller so this is the first one imports that is the full object of the jwt which we are linking with when users module okay so users module is there so where we have the users custom because it's because the users data is linked with that one right the login process okay so moving to the next part that is auth controller that is the login process make sure all these variables are added over here and import the basic classes okay so let's go to the signing process okay so in the signing process right so we have the by crypt nestgs dwt user service then the user entity user service so this is the user service that we are using okay so i have made i think the service over here so i am using this one so user service get user by id so here we have the service which service that get user by id so which is here get user by id so here this is the service which i have made in the user service so i am importing that one also user service okay so this dot user service get user by id whatever the user id i am sending him i will check first whether this user id exists or not okay the next process and then check the password validity if the password is correct with the database or not if it is not valid then i'm returning the unauthorized exception 
otherwise you can make it like the pass uh, the this the password is not correct the password is not match okay then i am using the payload with the user id and the sub user id okay and returning the ss token and signing with the token right this dot jwt service sign in async to token i already told about you this is the pay token pay uh, payload that we have to send to the jwt service so okay so let's check this one this dot jwt service so here we go with the service okay so just we need to pass this this dot uh, jwt service sign in async and the payload so it will return you the access token okay so rest of the process is done by the jwt auth module right so let's see whether we are able to log in and return the access token or the not so here we have the login <coughs> okay so it needs the this one so let's but here i think auth is there <coughs> auth login let's try to send this one okay with this password right so let me this one send username should not exist so let me remove this one username is no should not exist right so here the password is wrong right unauthorized because password is wrong let's put one <coughs> okay so let's insert this one and you can see that the token is returned okay so this is how we are able to log in with the process so any doubt any query in that let me know in the comment section because most important thing is that i see is the jwt <coughs> linking so that is important because without this one we are unable to get the token part right so any doubt in that note just let me know in the comment section or i will make a separate video on like how to integrate the <coughs> jwt if you want that one you can also let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like share and comment on my video in the next video we are going to use this token and create and get the user's profile information so let's see in the next video thank you so much for watching this video have a great day